Hey, my name is Frederick, and in this video, I will introduce you to electronics trade shows in Asia. And the countries that I will cover in this one is mainland China, Hong Kong, which is part of China, it's not a separate country, and Taiwan, which is also, well, officially at least, it's not a uh, separate country, it's called the Republic of China. And then we have two independent nations, Vietnam and Singapore. Okay, right, so Hong Kong is, well, right next to the electronics manufacturing mecca of Shenzhen, and they host some of the biggest electronics trade shows in the world, if not the biggest. And first we have the Hong Kong Electronics Sh Fair, and, well, uh, it's hosted at the same time as Electronic Asia. It's kind of the same uh, trade show. Either way, uh, both are hosted by HKTDC, the Hong Kong Trade and Development Council in Wan Chai in downtown Hong Kong. Uh, it's it's a big it's the biggest uh, well trade show venue in Hong Kong. I think it's called the Hong Kong uh, well uh, exhibition uh, center or something. Can't miss it. Okay, and then we have the Global Sources Consumer Electronics Show, which is held in uh, uh, the Asia World Expo right next to the Hong Kong Airport. So either way, Hong Kong is a very dense place. Everything is easy to reach, and perhaps the best thing is you don't even need a visa. So you can just go to Hong Kong, well, tomorrow if you want to, and you get a 90-day entry. Uh, so you can stay there for three months and go to as many trade shows as you want. Okay, let's cross the border and let's go to mainland China. First we have the Canton Fair. It's the biggest trade show in the world. Canton Fair Phase 1, which is held yearly, I think it's in mid-April and mid-October. Um, not specialized, it's, it's not specifically for electronics, but it is uh, one of the biggest electronics trade shows in the world. There were very big areas designated for electronic supplies. So you find everything from LED screens to, um, well, wearables, IoT, VR, anything, anything that's uh, electronic you find in a Canton Fair Phase 1. And then we have two, um, well they don't have the same history as the Canton Fair that's been up and running since the late 1950s, all through the Cold War. We have the China Electronics Fair in Shanghai and in Shenzhen. Either way, if you want to visit a trade show in mainland China, you need a visa. But you can get, a, you can get an invitation letter from the well, from the trade show hosts. You can, for example, the Canton Fair organizers, they, uh, they can send you a invitation letter by email that you can just print and, and take to, to a consulate or embassy in, in your country. But it requires a bit, bit of planning. Okay, let's jump to Taiwan, uh, or the Republic of China, which is its official name. It's an island outside the mainland and just for the record Taiwan mainland China and Hong Kong well this is complicated it's a long history I'm not gonna go into that but they're all part of the Great China region either way uh, Taiwan is is I would say the leader in electronics it's Taiwanese are the ones that runs the biggest uh, the biggest electronics factories on the mainland including Foxconn that makes that made your Nintendo Swift if you have one, or your PlayStation, or your iPhone, or well, your laptop. Um, they have half a million people in in Shenzhen just in one factory compound. So it doesn't come as a surprise that some of the very best and most sophisticated trade shows in the electronic space are in Taipei, specifically Computex and Titronics. And it's easy to get to Taiwan. Um, no visa required, you get 90 days entry. Well, it depends on the nationality, but it, 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 for, I, think, I think for Americans and for most Europeans, we get a 90 day entry uh, when we go to Taipei, or well, anywhere in Taiwan for that matter. Okay, uh, in Southeast Asia, we have NEPCON in Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam is, is r growing very fast now when it comes to electronics manufacturing. 
much thanks to uh, well the big Korean companies like Samsung probably heard of them so uh, there's a big uh, supply chain well uh, an electronics industry growing now especially in southern Vietnam around uh, Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon I'm spending more time there myself recently so it's really interesting but it's not as big as as, as the big trade shows in in the greater China region in, in Taipei or in Guangzhou or in Hong Kong and then we have uh, in Singapore uh, the consumer electronics exhibition is not as focused on B2B manufacturers as as uh, well <laughs> every manufacturer is B2B but it's not as focused on OEM uh, B2B um, well producers as 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 it is in uh, in uh, well Hong Kong or in the Canton Fair a good thing about Vietnam and Singapore is that you don't need a visa to go there actually in the case of Vietnam you do but you get a visa on arrival so no invitation letter needed if you want to go to NEPCOM uh, just fly to Ho Chi Minh City and uh, you just uh, grab right away from the trade show venue and if you want to learn more about importing electronics from China go to chinaimportal.com slash sign up and get a t free 20 page case study it's a PDF it covers everything from preparing a spec sheet to buying product samples and product regulations. And that's uh, well, a key issue when it comes to electronics manufacturing.